Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll explain you what are the top 7 DevOps and Cloud skills that you need to learn and master in 2023. If you are an aspiring DevOps engineer, these 7 skills can get you a job in DevOps and Cloud. Or if you are already a DevOps engineer and looking to upskill and excel in your career, then these 7 skills is the one that you are looking for. So without wasting any time, let me quickly jump onto the video and explain you about these seven skills and way to learn them. Skill number one. So the skill number one that you need to definitely learn and master in 2023 and going ahead is Kubernetes. When I talk about Kubernetes, I am basically talking about the concept of containers and container orchestration. Kubernetes helps you in the container orchestration, but to learn about container orchestration, you should definitely understand about containers. And one of the most widely used container platform is Docker. So start with Docker, understanding about, I mean, understand about containers, understand about their life cycle and switch to the concept of Kubernetes. Kubernetes is a ocean. So take it step by step. In my channel, I have a Kubernetes playlist where I started with the concept of Kubernetes. I explained you about the architecture of Kubernetes, each and every popular concept of Kubernetes, even till writing Kubernetes operators. So you can use that playlist called Kubernetes on my channel, which will help you give, I mean, which will give you a very deep knowledge of Kubernetes. But before that, you should also learn about containers. So I'll put links in the description of way to learn docker and kubernetes basically they are linked to my playlist so you can go there and learn step by step about docker and kubernetes skill number two so the skill number two that you should watch out in 2023 and beyond is infrastructure as code technically one of the key players in infrastructure as code at this point of time is terraform there are multiple reasons because Terraform plays in the world of hybrid cloud. It is one single tool that can orchestrate and it can manage the infrastructure of multiple clouds. So that's the reason why Terraform is the key player in infrastructure as code. And it is one of the very popular skills that companies are looking for from DevOps engineers. Of course, there are many, many constraints with Terraform. Terraform does not play well in many of the concepts. I explained the problems with Terraform on my channel. You can watch that video. But even then, right now, it's one of the leading skills in market for infrastructure as code. When you have a competitor for Terraform, probably that time you can learn about the competitor. But right now, the skill number two that you should watch out for is Terraform. Skill number three, that is CICD, Continuous Integration and Continuous Delivery. Again, coming to CI-CD, many DevOps engineers might already know it, but CI-CD space is always evolving. Previously, you might have knowledge of CI-CD using tools like Jenkins, and you might have used some shell scripts to deploy your applications. But these days, continuous delivery is taken by GitOps. So you need to understand about CI-CD and how to use GitOps approach in CI-CD for continuous delivery. So if you are looking for learning CI-CD and if you're learning for, I mean, if you're looking for learning CI-CD with GitOps approach, then again, my CI-CD playlist will help you to start with the basics of CI-CD, CI-CD interview questions and various tools and technologies you can use along with the CI-CD pipelines with Jenkins, GitHub Actions, GitLab, and I have also explained the GitOps approach for continuous delivery using all these platforms. So the skill number three that you should watch out is CI-CD. Skill number four. So the skill number four that you should learn and master is the scripting. Whether it is shell scripting or Python scripting, you need to master one of these. If you know both of them, that will be definitely an added advantage as a DevOps engineer. Because as a DevOps engineer, if you can automate tasks, if you can reduce the toil, reduce manual efforts that you are doing, your team is doing, then that will be one of the primary skills. 
during trouble during troubleshooting talking to third party applications getting the information from some apis or you know to that matter of fact doing or writing some small scripts for automating activities like fetching the information of all the servers that you have getting the information from the cloud infrastructure sending out notifications these are the things that you do on a day to day basis as a devops engineer so definitely learn any of these things shell scripting or python if you know both of them then that is definitely an added advantage skill number 5 so the skill number 5 that you can learn and master in 2023 is the concept of version control system using git so you should be expert in understanding the concepts of git tools like github gitlab although all of them perform the same thing you need to at least have a basic understanding of these tools so learn about github learn about gitlab if it is not possible for you at least one about one of these version control systems so fundamentally start with the concepts of git what are the different commands that you can use using git what are the features that these providers are supporting for example if you take example of github what are the concepts like pull request what are the concepts like you know merge conflicts how you can solve merge conflicts how github handles issues how github handles discussions so these are some things that you should definitely understand of course with github you get concepts like github actions you get concepts like secret management in github these are again things that you should learn whether it is github or gitlab forgot to say about skill 4 and again about skill 5 you can learn them using my devops zero to hero playlist i'll put the link in the devops zero to hero playlist where i covered the concept of shell scripting and i also covered the concept of git and the fundamentals of git so you can watch the playlist and you can understand this concepts if you want to learn python i have written a python website for devops engineers which is purely focused for devops engineers if you go to any other website you can still learn python but the problem is that's a very common tutorial for python it's a tutorial for devops engineers it's a tutorial for developers but i have written this website keeping in mind the devops engineers and their day to day activities so definitely explore that website skill number 6 is ansible so ansible for configuration management is something that you should watch out for you should definitely understand ansible and manage multiple servers with ansible the reason why i'm saying this is because these days you have lot of servers you deal with multiple servers you deal with multiple configurations like you have some of the servers in windows some of the servers in linux some in ubuntu some in uh, centos red hat so you should definitely have one single solution to automate all of these things let's say you are given a very simple activity to install a package on all of these servers then technically it's not feasible to go into one of these servers each of these servers and install the packages so ansible is a skill that you cannot avoid again if you want to learn ansible even that is part of my devops zero to hero course and i have explained how to write a simple ansible playbook if you want to learn beyond that you can go to the ansible official documentation or go to ansible galaxy where you can learn ansible with examples and the skill number 7 of course not in the order of priority skill number 7 is very very important that is cloud cloud and devops go hand in hand you cannot avoid cloud as a devops engineer these days devops engineers are expected to work in cloud environments like aws azure or google cloud platform learn one of the cloud skills you don't have to master devops i mean uh, aws you don't have to master azure and the gcp just go with one platform i would recommend aws i have said this multiple times on my channel the reason is that i always prefer telling my subscribers to learn about the skills where there are multiple job opportunities going with the order of job opportunities aws holds the maximum number of opportunities so learn aws and if you are looking to learn aws then the ongoing playlist on my channel i already finished 14 videos out of 30 that is aws zero to hero for devops engineers you can go watch that playlist where even if you don't understand the concept of cloud even if you have never heard about cloud 
you can just start with that playlist and master AWS in the 30 days for DevOps engineers. So these are the top seven skills that you should learn and that you should master. So what are you waiting for? Start your DevOps and cloud journey today. And most of these things are already available on my channel. And in future, I'll go in detail and depth of each and every concept as well. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have already subscribed, please share our channel with your friends and colleagues. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want me to do more such videos in future, please let me know in the comment section. What are you looking for? Take care, everyone. Bye. See you all tomorrow.